Hi guys! Welcome sa Engie Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang graphs of quadratic functions in the form y equals a times x minus h square plus k. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang pag-graph ng quadratic functions in the form y equals a times x minus h square plus k. Okay, so meron ako noon ng video about graphing quadratic functions in the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c kung saan ginraph natin yung quadratic functions which is the graph is a parabola by using table of values and plotting the corresponding points. Okay? So, kung ninyo pa yung napapanood, isililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo kasi i-apply din natin dito yung technique na ginawa natin doon sa pag-graph ng quadratic function using yung pattern ng paghanap ng mga points doon sa parabola. Okay? So, ngayon, yung i-consider nating form ng quadratic functions is ito. Yung y equals a times x minus h square plus k. Actually, galing lang din tong form na to, doon sa general form na y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, ginawa lang natin yung ganitong form para ma-determine natin agad yung vertex, which is itong h comma k. Okay? So, diba doon sa previous video ko is meron tayong formula for the vertex na x is equal to negative b over 2a. And then, yung y coordinate niya is evaluate lang natin yung f of x dito sa negative b over 2a. This time, kapag na-transform natin itong quadratic function into this form, readily, mahanap na natin yung value ng vertex which is at h comma k. Okay? So, basahin natin. So, sabi, given the function f of x is equal to y is equal to a times x minus h square plus k, the graph is a parabola with, okay, so yung vertex nga is itong h comma k, and then yung axis of symmetry is itong x is equal to h. Yung axis of symmetry, yun yung magdi-divide sa parabola into symmetrical region, particularly a vertical line. Okay? So, Again, tulad din dun sa previous video ko, madedetermine natin yung orientation ng graph ng parabola kung either upward or downward. So, if A is greater than 0 or positive, the parabola opens upward and the vertex is the minimum point. And if A is less than 0 or negative, the parabola opens downward and the vertex is the maximum point. Okay, so ito yung representation natin ng graph. So, kung positive si A or greater than 0, upward. So, yung vertex niya this time is at h comma k. Somewhere in the rectangular coordinate system. And as well as, ito naman yung graph ng parabola opening downward with vertex ulit na h comma k. So, para sila, yung axis of symmetry is itong x is equal to h. Okay? The Okay, so para ma-illustrate yung pag-graph ng quadratic functions in the form y equals a times x minus h square plus k, ay mag-solve tayo ng example. So for the first one, we have graph the parabola y is equal to negative quantity x minus 3 squared plus 2. Okay, so diba yung form natin is y is equal to a times x minus h square plus k kung saan h comma k yung ating vertex. So, kung i-compare natin dito, malalaman natin yung vertex at h comma k. So, yung h natin is itong 3, right? And then, yung k natin is itong 2. So, therefore, yung vertex is at 3 comma 2. And then, take note of the value of a. So, yung a yung nakamultiply dito sa quantity na squared, which is itong negative or equivalently negative 1, right? So, kapag negative 1, base dun kanina, opening downward. So, therefore, expected natin is yung vertex, yung maximum point at opening downward yung parabola. So, lagi, plot muna natin itong vertex na 3, 2. So, locate natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 dito. And then, apply na natin yung pattern na naturo ko sa inyo din sa previous video. So, kapag 1 unit to the right at 1 unit to the left, meron tayong tig 1 unit downward. Kasi opening downward yung parabola. And then, 2 units to the left at 2 units to the right, meron naman tayong pagbaba ng 3 units. So, 2 units to the right, bilang tayo from this point ng 3 units. 1, 2, 3, sa so dito. Then, symmetrical, 2 units to the left, dito rin. Okay? Then, kung 3 units, from this point naman naman. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so dito. And then, 3 units to the left, 
symmetrical. So, dito din. So, connect lang natin yung mga points para mag-graph natin yung parabola. Okay. So, therefore, this is the graph of the parabola y equals negative x minus 3 squared plus 2. Take note, yung axis of symmetry natin is itong line, vertical line na x is equal to, kung ano man yung h natin, which is 3, so x is equal to 3. Okay. Next, we have graph y is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay, so this time, yung form ng ating quadratic function is wala pa doon sa y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So, pwede natin gawin is i-transform muna natin itong general form ng quadratic function natin into that form. So, paano? Gagamitin natin yung completing the square. Okay, so y is equal to, so lagi, i-check nyo kung may numerical coefficient ba yung x other than 1. So, pwedeng negative 1, positive 2, negative 3, and so on. So, kung 1 naman siya, wala na kayong gagawin. Wala na kayong ifa-factor. So, kopihin nyo na lang. So, since 1 lang naman yung numerical coefficient ni x squared, so copy na lang x squared plus copy nyo rin yung x term, so 8x, then mag-iwan kayo ng blank. Kasi i-complete natin yung square nitong x. Okay? And then itong plus 16 na constant, igigilid natin. So, paano natin malalaman yung ia-add natin para makomplete yung square? So, yung numerical coefficient ng ating x na 8, divide natin by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then, square natin yung sagot, 16. So, 16 yung ia-add natin. And then, para balance, kung nag-add kayo ng 16 dito, dapat magmamayas din kayo ng 16. Para inequivalent, 0 lang din yung in natin. Okay? So, therefore, pwede na natin itong ma-factor. So, x plus 4 quantity squared, right? Then, ito, positive 16 minus 16 is 0. Plus 0. Or kahit hindi ko naisulat. So, therefore, na-transform na natin itong quadratic function into y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k form. Kung saan, Yung a natin is invisible 1, right? So, a is equal to 1. And then, yung h natin is this time positive 4 tayo, hindi tayo x minus a constant. So, therefore, pwede itong isulat as x minus negative 4. So, that x plus 4 siya. So, therefore, yung h natin is negative 4. And therefore, dahil wala tayong k, so kanina meron tayong plus 0. So, k natin is 0. So, therefore, alam na natin yung vertex na negative 4, 0. Okay? And then, alam din natin na yung A is positive 1. So, therefore, ang orientation ng parabola is upward. So, pwede natin mag-graph. So, magsimula tayo sa vertex na negative 4, 0. So, negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dito. And then, opening upward, applying the pattern. So, 1 unit to the right at 1 unit to the left. Meron tayong pagtaas na tig 1 unit upward. And then, 2 units naman to the right at 2 units to the left from this point, tatlo. So, 1, 2, 3. So, dito. And then, dito rin, symmetrical. So, dito. And then, 3 units to the right at 3 units to the left. This time, from this point, lima naman. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito. Then, to the left, dito rin. Okay? So, nilang natin yung pattern na yung interval nila is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. Add number. And then, connect lang natin yung mga points para matrace natin yung graph nung parabola. Okay? So, by the way, yung axis of symmetry is this line. Vertical line, x is equal to h natin na negative 4. So, this is the graph of the parabola. y is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay? Next, we have graph y is equal to negative 2x squared minus 4x minus 1. Okay, so since naka-general form uli, yung quadratic function natin, i-transform natin siya into vertex form. So, y is equal to, so mapapansin nyo, this time, yung numerical coefficient ng x squared is negative 2 na. So, ang unang step is i-factor out natin tong negative 2. So, negative 2 times x squared, then pag factor out natin yung negative 2 dito sa negative 4x, magiging positive 2x, then mag-iwan tayo ng plus blank, and then itong negative 1, igilid natin. So, same step, para mahanap natin yung ia dito sa blank, divide natin yung numerical coefficient ni x na 2 by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, then squared is still 1. So, 1. Take note, dahil meron tayong factor na negative 2, i-consider natin yun sa ia add natin ay mamaya na sa labas. 
So, di ba, meron tayong negative 2. Nag-add tayo ng 1 dito. I-multiply natin. So, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So, equivalently pala, nag-subtract tayo ng 2 kasi negative 2. So, para ma-balance, mag-add din tayo ng 2. Okay, so take note of that. Iko-consider nyo yung naka-factor out na constant dito sa labas. Okay? So, therefore, i-factor na natin to Negative 2 times x plus 1 squared. And then, minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. So, therefore, natransform na natin itong quadratic function into y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Kung saan, a natin is itong nakamultiply na negative 2. And then, yung h natin is itong so, x plus 1. So, x minus negative 1. So, h is negative 1. And then, itong k is 1. So, therefore, pwede na natin ma-plot. So, plot muna natin yung vertex at negative 1, comma 1. And take note that yung a natin is negative 2. So, negative opening downward. So, locate muna natin yung vertex na negative 1, comma 1. Negative 1, comma 1 sa dito. Now, opening downward siya. Pero take note, meron tayong value ng a na other than 1, which is this time 2. Okay? So, kapag ganun, apply nyo natin yung naturo ko dun sa previous video ko na imumultiply natin yung interval natin na 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on to whatever value ng A with regardless of the signs, which is 2. So, magiging ang interval natin, 1 unit to the right and to the left is 1 times 2 or 2. Then, 2 units to the left or to the right, 3 times 2 or 6. Then, 3 units to the left, 3 units to the right is 5 times 2 or 10. Okay? So, gawin natin. So, since downward, 1 unit to the left at 1 unit to the right, bababa tayo ng this time instead na 1 to nga. So, 1, 2 dito. Dito rin, symmetrical sa right. Then, 2 units to the left at 2 units to the right. Isang bilang tayo 6 unit mula sa point na to. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dito. Then, symmetrical sa left, dito rin. Then, kapag 3 units naman, this time from this point, 10. So, bilang lang kayong 10 pababa, pero hindi ko na isusulat kasi medyo mahaba. So, at least, this point, pwede na natin i-connect para matrace ang graph ng parabola. So, therefore, this is the graph of the parabola. With axis of symmetry, this time, as x is equal to h, yung h natin is negative 1. Next, we have graph y is equal to 1 of x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so since nasa general form pa rin itong ating quadratic function, i-transform naman siya into vertex form. So, y is equal to, dahil may numerical coefficient yung x squared na 1 half, factor out natin. So, 1 half times x squared, then pag factor out natin yung 1 half sa negative 2, magiging negative 4x. Okay? Then, plus blank, para sa i-add natin, para makomplete yung square ni x, then gilid natin itong plus 1. So, ano ulit i-add natin? Divide natin tong numerical coefficient x na negative 4 by 2. So, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Then, squared is positive 4. So, for yung i-add natin. And then, like dun sa previous example, dahil meron tayong 1 half na nakamultiply sa labas, imumultiply din natin yung inad natin na 4 dito sa 1 half. So, 1 half times 4 is positive 2. So, therefore, nag-add tayo equivalent ng 2 para balance, magsusubtract naman tayo ng 2 din. Okay, so factor na natin, y is equal to 1 half times x minus 2 squared, then plus 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So, therefore, natansfer na natin sa y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k form. Yung a natin bali is itong 1 half, then yung h is itong 2, and yung k is itong negative 1. Okay? So, yung vertex natin is at 2 comma, negative 1. And then, yung A natin is 1 half, which is positive. So, expect natin na opening upward. And then, apply ulit natin yung ginawa natin sa previous example. Dahil meron tayong value ng A other than 1, which is 1 half, imamultiply natin yung, yung pattern natin na 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on into 1 half. So, yung 1 magiging 1 half units. etong 3 magiging 3 times 1 half or 3 halves units. Yung 5, 5 times 1 half or 5 half units and so on. Okay? So, plot natin. So, magsimula tayo sa 2, negative 1. So, saan yun? 1, 2, then negative 1 dito. And then, opening upward tayo. So, pataas. So, 1 unit to the right at 1 unit to the left. This time, kalahati lang right. So, dito. 
Okay? Then, 2 units to the right, 2 units to the left. This time, from this point, ilan naman? 3 halves units or 1.5. So, bilang tayo from this point ng 1.5 units pataas. So, kalahati na to, diba? Tapos plus 1 dito. So, therefore, this is the point. Then, symmetrical to the left, dito din. Then, 3 units to the right, 3 units to the left. This time, from this point, ang bibilangan natin is 5 halves units or 2.5. So, 1 unit, 2 unit, then kalahate, 2.5. Then, symmetrical sa left, meron din tayong point dito. So, i-connect na lang natin itong mga points para matrace natin yung graph ng parabola. Okay? And then, yung axis of symmetry natin is this time itong x is equal to h na 2. Okay? So, therefore, this is the graph of the quadratic function y is equal to 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, graphing quadratic functions in the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So, practice lang kayong mag-graph ng ganitong form ng equation ng quadratic function para ma-master nyo ito. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.